All right, uh, so I've got my counter running and I'm taking a look at the output of a, a GPS disciplined uh, clock and it's certainly not reading 10 megahertz, but <clears throat> if I reach in the back and I put my rubidium, all right, so if I put my rubidium into the rear, uh, let me get the BNC on correctly. There we go. Now the external reference light just lit up. And, whoa! We are reading a very nice number now. Um, throw one. So I would say this counter is working really, really well. <laughs> and so is my, uh, reference clock. So the, the um, GPS re reference clock, uh, I did a video on that. Uh, I did a video on that so you can look it up. It's a uh, mini GPS reference clock. I'm sure you can find it in my playlist or someplace. Um, anyway, uh, that was donated by a viewer. Very nice. Thank you. Um, so it's coming in handy today. And we are measuring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Um, so they are dithering right there at the very, very last digit. So uh, we should be able to um, look at some of the other counters and see if they also just dither at the last digit. Um, my complaint with the Rachel Dana was I seemed to be getting some noise out on that last digit and I just wasn't sure if it was real or not or whether the the, uh, the actual um, generator was sick. So uh, this one seems to check out. Uh, gate time. Uh, gate time. Uh, how do you enter? Hmm. I really need to read the manual, don't I? Okay, so this is Rickle Dana number, this was the original one. This is the one that I, uh, I got originally. And uh, I guess it's working fine. <laughs> I guess it's working fine. Um, so whatever I was looking at, it must have been dithering uh, because certainly this is measuring perfectly. Um, Hmm. Again, I have the uh, I have the rubidium going into the external input. You can see it lit up here. It says external standard. It auto this one automatically detects it, as did the other one. Some of them you actually have to tell it whether you're internal or external, but these automatically detect that. And uh, yeah, uh, we are looking at uh, I don't know we're looking at 10 megahertz as working just uh, just to fine. All right, uh, this is the second meter uh, that was uh, donated, and uh, it obviously has an error. It's not detecting the external standard. Um, so I don't know if that was a software update, if this one maybe has a, a menu that says you have to change it over or not, or maybe there's just a broken wire inside <laughs> for the external standard. I looked at the schematics once, and um, um, it looks as though the software needs to detect it. Uh, so for whatever reason, uh, two of the instruments to detect it, but this one won't. Um, and just to prove that, uh, just to prove there is something going in the back, this is the, uh, this is the external reference and it can measure it. It's just not detecting it on the back connector. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Pretty strange. Pretty strange. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, something else to uh, mark down what uh, needs to go on here. But anyway, what I've proven is uh, uh, I think that the uh, Agilent Agilent One's checking out just fine. I think I will put it up on the shelf and, and bless it off and use it now as my primary uh, my primary meter. I'm still try to figure out maybe how to cut the power on it. Maybe put a switch in line or something. Uh, put it on a switched outlet or something. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's 
it's going to be working just fine. And the other Rekelde and I have uh, seems to work just fine too. So, um, yeah, pretty strange. Uh, don't know what's wrong with this one. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I was pushing some buttons and I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm not showing off this meter very well. Now look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, di 11 digits. Uh, so it's measuring 11 digits. So I said gate, number of digits. Let's do 11 digits. Let's see if it knows how to do 11 digits. And it does. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, 12 digits. Whoa. And uh, yeah, so the gate slowed down. Let's go one more digit here. Goodness me. 12 digits. Of course, the gate's going to be very, very slow, and it may... Uh, we may lose some digits over on this side, but, oh, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's only showing 12 more digits. I don't know. I'm not sure what. Oh, maybe over the bus. Oh, wow. Maybe over the bus you can get 15 digits out of this thing. That would be insane. Um, wow. Wow. Anyway, now you know why I wanted why I wanted one of these. I knew they were good counters. I didn't know whether they were this good. Wow, uh, this is pretty incredible. And uh, yeah, so the rubidium is a little bit slower than the uh, a little bit faster. Let's see frequency. If it's measuring this one's high, it thinks this one is faster than it is. So yeah. I'm not quite sure which one is more accurate. I think um, I think these uh, reference clocks are supposedly more accurate if you let them settle and you do a bunch of math on them and everything. I'm not sure about this little guy, how he compares to the rubidium, but um, obviously the two of them agree within uh, 0 0.007 hertz. That's, uh, that's pretty incredible. Wow. So gate. So you can go gate time. So gate time is 0.1 seconds, or let's go up to uh, one second. Let's do gate time of one second. Yeah, there we go. So we've lost a digit. Gate time. You can do time, auto, external, or digits. Let's do auto. Oh, that's pretty boring. That's pretty boring. It says, yeah, it's 10 megahertz. And I can't say more digits. It won't let me. It won't let me go more. Gate, auto. Okay, so gate. I would have expected it to do a bunch more. Oh, well, anyway. Gate, digits. I think I want 10 digits all the time. There we go. You can watch the gate there one, about every half, every third of a second maybe. And yeah, maybe three gates a second, something like that. What a nice instrument. Run and stop. Okay, run. Save and print. Save. Interesting. Yes. Oh, save in one. Oh, so we can save it. Okay, we can save it in one. I guess it did that. Did it do it? Enter. I don't know. So we'll take this off. And then we'll do uh, recall. Oh, here we go. Recall one. Recall one. 
No. Oh, maybe maybe recall is not safe. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe these are settings. Save. Oh, maybe this is save. Save setup, not save measurement. Should I read the manual? Okay, I should read the manual. 